In this first example, I've created two integer variables, int val1 and int val2. I've assigned both of those variables to the value of 5. I've also created a third variable, a long LNG result. Now what I want to do is take the values of int val1 and int val2, we're going to add those together and store the resulting value into LNG result. Now int val1 and int val2, they are integer data types where the result is a long data type. Therefore, this assignment is going to require some sort of cast. However, because I should be able to take two integers and add them together and store those safely into a long return, this will happen implicitly. I don't need to actually manage that myself. Let's execute this and verify that that's the case. When we run this code, we see the result of 10 holds true. We didn't get any errors. The implicit cast happened successfully. Let's go back to the code and make a few changes. I'll comment out this first block, and I will remove the comments for the second block. Now in the second block of code, you'll notice that now I have two long variables, LNG val1 and val2, and my result is an integer. If I want to take those long values and add them together and store the result in the int, this is going to require an implicit cast. Let me take out the cast, and let's try running this as is, without the cast, and see what happens you'll notice that this alerts me that there's some build errors. Let's not continue, but let's look and see what those build errors are. This little list here will give me a list of the errors that took place in the build. What it tells me is that we cannot implicitly convert type long to type int. In other words, on line 28, there's a problem in doing the implicit cast. If we take a look at line 28 in the code, we will see the problem right here. It's underlined in blue as soon as the compile fails and the build error is specified. We cannot do the conversion implicitly. Let's stick that cast back in and re rebuild. Well, now it works correctly. Because we've done the explicit cast, the result of the two longs added together can be successfully stored into the integer variable. However, if there was an overflow problem, that would be my responsibility. Now, because I've done the, implicit, the explicit cast, it would not raise an error if there was a problem. That's my responsibility to discover that and determine the best course of action.